guys, Elwin from the Mind Body Project. Welcome back, day number four. Uh, we're doing Q and A's. So number four is, what are we on here? Is anxiety caused by a chemical imbalance? See, I've answered this before on a previous video. Listen, look at it this way. You're always in an imbalance. Yeah, your body's always in an imbalance. If, you're, if you laugh your head off, you're in chemical imbalance. I mean, that's the meaning of the word. It's not balanced. Uh, if you're happy, you're balanced. If you're sad, you're imbalanced. If you're eating food, that causes a chemical imbalance. Yeah, if you're dehydrated, that causes a chemical imbalance. If you're uh, having loads of toxins in your food, that causes a chemical imbalance. So your body's always trying to get you to homeostasis where you're always in balance. That's, what it's basically, that's what this job is, keeping you alive, keeping your pH right, keeping your blood levels right, keeping your fluids right, and keeping your energy levels right. So it's always, always doing that. Um, so yeah, anxiety, the state is an imbalance. It is an imbalance, but what you wanna know, that's not really the important question, It really to do with it. What you wanna know is how do you interfere or how do you influence this imbalance? How do you influence it? That's what you really want to know. This imbalance is how do you or how do you influence your chemistry in your body? That's really what you want to know. Because that's going to give you a lot more empowerment to change than knowing if it is a chemical imbalance or not. Because people argue about that all the time. Who cares? How do you influence your chemistry in your body? That's the real question that you want to have and to go down that road. Once you answer that, then you're going to start finding you can start changing the chemical imbalance in your body.